the first week of March, uh, we had uh, heard about the you know uh, first transmission here in the state of Washington, and uh, news started moving quickly. And because we have a very small lobby, uh, we usually stuff about 40 people in our lobby. And at the time, most of those folks are folks that had underlying conditions, seniors, folks above 60. So uh, we immediately uh, moved to uh, uh, outdoor walkthrough program. We closed down the building, uh, uh, provided social distancing. We didn't have masks at that time, but we were doing hand sanitizer. Uh, two weeks later, uh, we were able to gear up and uh, create this drive-through program. This is the largest food bank in Pierce County. So the amount of numbers that we have create a larger crowd so it was really the safest way to do it, and it was the only way with time that we had the time to be able to be able to get people in and out. The CARES Act, what it did do is it kept our numbers at least uh, manageable. Uh, think about if families weren't getting that extra $600 a week, and we're already doing 5,000 households a month. So this is our concern moving forward. If families don't get assistance and the coronavirus continues and people can't go back to work, we're preparing to even have a larger influx of clients than we did in the first wave. There's a great need for volunteers at food banks, but we need really a specific type of volunteer. We need some younger uh, folks that can come, that can work uh, moving boxes for at least two or three hours. These are the type of individuals that we need. We need a whole new type of volunteer because the work that we need done is a different type of activity that can't be done by our traditional volunteer.